news tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, quiet night across West Michigan. Earlier today, the Storm Track Live radar was full. We had a lot of scattered light showers, and now you can see that we have a few that are trying to remain just north of South Bend, but they are struggling to continue. And as we mentioned just a few minutes ago, what's happening now is the same thing that's going to happen all weekend. We're going to see showers that try to move in, and as they do so, they're going to run over dry air. So radar level, as you're checking your app this weekend, you're likely going to see a decent amount of rain popping up, but just keep in mind as that rain falls to the ground, it's going to be running into surface air that's coming in out of the Northeast, which is much drier. So as it falls into the drier air, it's going to evaporate and we're likely going to be left with a lot of sprinkles instead of widespread steady rain. So keep that in mind, this is Saturday, 6 a.m. It has the rain showers, but look how quickly it dissipates. We still have some residual showers for 10 a.m., so race time tomorrow for the Riverbank Run, looking fantastic. Runners might even catch a welcome sprinkle or two as they're heading through the course. And spectators, you won't have to worry about getting soaked. A sprinkled chance continues through the afternoon, but notice not everyone even sees it, so it's going to have a very similar feel to today. Today, we topped out close to 80, but much of the day was in the mid-70s, and tomorrow we're expecting mid-70s as well. So even with the clouds, even with a few of the showers, we're really going to be seeing tame conditions. Great for any activities you want to go out and enjoy. Now, as for Mother's Day, you can see that we have a revamped round of moisture. That also starts to head in, but it's also going to be running into dry air. So same sort of story. The dry air never runs out. It keeps pulling out new stuff. So we have this constant collision through the weekends that guarantees cloud cover, but it also gives us a chance of a sprinkle all throughout the duration of Saturday and Sunday. All in all, looking pretty good tonight. You can see quiet conditions. By the way, we did see an updated count last night. 2.3 million birds migrated over Kent County alone. We are expecting another mass migration tonight, so it's kind of exciting. The radar tracking more than just sprinkles. Once we get to Monday, we clear out considerably. Back to full sunshine. Temperatures near 70, very seasonable for next week.